Hi, welcome to the Spring Framework Bootcamp. Okay, so now our first topic is IOC, that is Inversion of Control. Fine, so let's understand what is IOC. As the name indicates that Inversion of Control, that means we need to inverse some control. Okay, just remember it, we need to inverse some control. Fine. Now let me give you one real world example. Consider you want a study table. You want a study table. Consider it. There are two options. The first option is you go to some carpentry shop. Okay. And take back some uh, bring back. Okay. Or purchase the study table parts. For example, legs. Okay. And some wooden like some parts. Okay. So study table parts. Okay. And then you itself create the study table. Fine. Purchase the study table parts like legs different and the other, other parts and you itself create the table. This is the first option. The second option is you go to the shopkeeper. Okay. And purchase pre made study table. This is the second option. Now, if I'll ask you that which one you would prefer, which is the best suited for you? Definitely second option. Why? Why? Then there's only one answer because you don't worry about how it is made. So why should I made? Why should I create it? I just have to use the study table. I just have to make the operations on a study table. I don't know. I don't know like, and I don't care about Okay, how it is made. I don't care about then now consider this study table as an object before spring before spring just just uh, come have a, I want you your focus to be here. Shut your phone off. Okay, now consider the study table as an object before spring. We are creating the objects. Why? Why we have to just make the operations on an object calling the methods and any operations then why we are creating the objects so we have the control to create the object now we need to inverse the control to whom to the spring we will not create the objects A spring will create for us that is IOC inversion of control and it is a real world example okay now uh, fine Okay, so in the last video, we have seen IOC. We have understood what is IOC, what is inversion of control. Okay, now in this video, let's see the problem. What is IOC? IOC means we are not creating the objects. We will not create the objects. A spring will create for us. But what is the problem in creating the objects? What is the problem that we are creating the objects? Okay, so first we should have to understand the problem. Then only it's uh, right to find a solution. Okay. So in this video, let's understand the problem and then uh, we will convert our projects, our programs, okay, into the IOC format. Fine. So yeah, so there is a note point. One note point is from now on, from now on, whatever we write inside main method is known as business logic. Whatever we write inside main method is known as business logic. Okay, fine. Now let me give you a scenario. Let me give you a scenario. Suppose uh, there is a car interface. Car interface. Okay. Inside the car interface, I have declared a method. Void speed. Speed is a method. Fine. Now I have uh, I have also created one class class which is known as Lamborg Lamborghini Lamborghini it is a car now it is implementing the car interface okay so it is if it is implementing the car interface then it should have to override this method okay so it has overridden this method void speed and inside it some SOP statement fine now in the main method in the main method I have told you whatever we write in the main method is known as business logic okay 
So in the main method, if I want to show the speed of Lamborghini, then definitely we need to first create the objects. We need to create the object of Lamborghini. Car C equals new Lamborghini. This is the object we are creating using new operator. And then using C, using a reference variable, we will call C dot speed. Fine. This is the basic program interface created inside a method. We will create a class which is implementing and in the main, in the business logic, we will call the uh, uh, is, uh, that method by creating objects. Definitely, if you want to access the methods of a class, we need to create the object of a class. Fine. Now, what is the problem? Now, uh, you'll ask me what is the problem in that? It is a simple program. The problem is Suppose tomorrow the name of Lamborghini change from Lamborghini to uh, just Guinea. Now the car was not named as Lamborghini. It is named as Guinea. So if you have changed this uh, class name Guinea, fine. Now if I tell you, you don't have a permission to change business logic. No permission. Okay, you don't have permission to change business logic then in business logic that is the code which is written inside main method here you are calling Lamborghini object but Lamborghini car has been changed to Guinea so here you have updated Guinea but who will update here because you don't have permission to change here are you getting so what is the problem the solution is uh, see the problem is we are creating the object but if any change in the class then we don't have permission to uh, make the change in the business logic Underst understanding the problem so what is the solution suppose if someone will create the object for us and in the business logic from some method we are getting the object okay if uh, you'll change the name 100 times from guinea to porsche to toyota to uh, any name at the end we are getting the object then it is a best solution and that is why IOC that is why spring comes into the picture IOC comes into the picture we will tell spring that we will tell spring that this is the class we want the object at the end rest you will handle get my point so this is why we need uh, IOC and this is the problem unless we have understood the problem and in the bigger projects okay we will create we will create bank application food application so business logic contains thousands of lines of code okay so there if you are modifying again and again it is not the good practice that is why that is why we should write the code in a business logic in such a way that we should not modify it the modification is done in the rest of the classes not in the main method not in the business logic and this is why we will use IOC see how I'm explaining in version of control initially control is in our hand what is a control creation of object control now we need to inverse the control give the control to other other technology spring this that's why I told you this is the best spring course in the detail in the real world example and we will quote this example we will see okay so this is what I have explained you in this video in the next video I'll tell you we will we will quote this example and we will see okay and then we will convert this example into a spring one using IOC okay so this is the example in the next video I'll tell you the project setup okay and then this example okay so I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then please subscribe share like and support thank you